tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a beautiful textured watercolor buttercream cake. So this is a picture of the actual finished cake. You'll see that I've got some incredible gelatine sales and decorations on it. I'll leave a link to my online course for that in the description box below. The first thing you want to do is to cover your cake with buttercream. I've got a full YouTube tutorial on how I get smooth sides and sharp edges on my buttercream cake. Also, the link for that is down below. So I'm going to start with my first layer and I'm using Swiss meringue buttercream. I've got a link for the recipe in my description box. Now a very important tip is to warm up the buttercream ever so slightly for a couple of seconds in the microwave. You want it to be quite soft, not running, but soft enough to really just spread it all across the cake like so. So softer than it would be if you were covering the cake with buttercream initially. And so just a couple of seconds, nothing more than three or four seconds in the microwave just to soften it up. And I'm using a small palette knife just like this. An offset spatula works best. And I am pressing quite firmly against the cake, which is chilled, I should add. So I definitely recommend working on a very cold cake for this. And so what I'm doing is I'm pressing my very soft buttercream directly onto my very cold cake. And so I am applying quite a bit of pressure because I want the buttercream to go on flat for this first layer. It has to be quite thin. And that's where you get a sort of watercolor effect where it's quite opaque in some areas and quite translucent in some other areas. And so I like to go with a side to side motion, a couple of dabs here and there, and also an upward motion. But the key to this is to keep it quite sparse. So not have it covering the entire cake completely. You want patches here and there. I personally like to concentrate more color around the base of the cake and then have it sort of spread up and I'm using a deeper pink color here. You'll notice that my cake is a very light baby pink marbled through with some white. What happened is I actually was mixing together some baby pink buttercream and white to lighten the tone of my initial first covering. And I was mixing it halfway and saw that I actually really liked it not mixed through all the way. So I left it that way and covered my cake with that marbled buttercream. It's really easy to do, just mix two colors together and just don't mix all the way. And so with this first layer, I've got a deeper pink. You can go with any color you like. I mix my buttercream with gel colors. I definitely recommend gel colors, or if you like also oil colors work quite well. I'm gonna stop now. I'm very happy with how that looks. You can even actually just serve up the cake as it is. It's really beautiful this way. My watercolor layer of the deep pink buttercream is very thin and that's exactly what I want. So because I'm going to be building up a couple more layers, I'm going to place my cake in the fridge for 10 minutes. And this is the other little tip in between each layer. You actually want to put it in the fridge to get cold and hard again. So I've got my cake out of the fridge. Now I'm going in with my second layer and I've got a lovely aqua tone of my Swiss meringue buttercream here. And I again popped my turquoise or aqua colored buttercream into the microwave for about three to four seconds. I just zapped it in there to get it soft, mixed it up and it was ready to go. So I'm using basically the same technique that I did with my first deep pink color. So very, very thin layers of buttercream in patches everywhere. I would recommend not just using one type of motion. What I mean by that is don't just go left and right, left and right. Um, try and use some upward motions, some diagonal motions, some patches as well. That will give you a very organic looking natural color flooding all the way through your cake. And because the first layer was chilled in a fridge, it's actually going to set up lovely and make it really easy for you to spread a second layer of color on top. 
what will happen if your cake is not chilled is that every time you try and spread color on it, it's actually going to dig into the buttercream and you'll lose that incredible smooth side sharp edge finish. I think in creating this textured watercolor buttercream effect, it's so important to have the basics right. So covering your cake really well with straight smooth sides and very sharp edges sets a really great canvas for this effect which can sometimes look quite eclectic and messy so having that initial structure of really really good edges and sides sets it up for an incredible and impactful finish at the end so you'll see here that i am again going trying to go in between the colors so i don't cover up all of the pink that i did before i'm going in between and I've got a great patchy finish, which I'm really happy with. Now I'm going in for another 10 minutes in the fridge. Then I'm gonna go in with my third layer of buttercream, which is this gorgeous purple hue. Now a little tip for you, I personally like to use oil colors when I'm coloring buttercream. When it comes to purple colors, I find that purple gels with buttercream tend to discolor a little bit, and I know it's the same for fondant. So for buttercream, if I can help it, I will use an oil-based color. I find that keeps its vibrancy a lot better in the fridge. So I've got my chilled cake and I've got my softened buttercream. So I'm going a little bit light with this one. And by that, I mean, I'm not applying as much color as the first previous two layers, because this is basically building on top. And I think when you are laying your colors down, you kind of have to keep in mind how many layers you're going to put on top of it. So in this case, I've actually got four colors. So here's my white that's going on top here. Now I did skip the chilling bit in between the purple and the white because the cake's so cold it's remained cold and I've put my purple in not too many places so I've chosen to just skip ahead and do purple and then straight on with the white I find sometimes it can create a really lovely marbled effect as well so I'm going very lightly with the white I'm not putting too much on because it is my last layer and so I should also say that how many layers you put onto your cake is totally up to you. Again, like before, you could even have just done one layer and it will look amazing. I tend to go anywhere between one to four. I feel that if I go any more than that, it can look a little bit messy and a little bit muddled. So I probably wouldn't recommend anything more than four colors. But of course, if that's what you like to do, you can do that as well. And so this is my finished textured watercolor butter cream cake and now it's ready for a whole bunch of different decorations that you like to pile on top thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll leave all the links to recipes also to my gelatine sales online course and to any other bits and pieces of info that you need it's down in my description box to stay up to date with new tutorials remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss any new content thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time